All right, guys. Good afternoon. Thanks for coming. Uh, recap of Saturday's game. MVPs from the game. Uh, Dan Bolton on defense. Very efficient game, start to finish. Very physical play. Uh, you know, aiding a very good defensive performance, which I think, you know, stopping a really good rushing attack there, especially once, um, you know, the the backup quarterback played and played the entire game. You know, he's a real running threat, and to be able to. Get him on the ground consistently. And, uh, you know, the running back there, Cooper, had a really good game against us last year when he was at Kent. So I thought maybe being able to neutralize that running game would be key to getting a victory. And, and those guys did a great job on defense. And a lot of other guys had really good games too. And Max and Hook had an, an exceptional game as well. And uh, But uh, Dan was our point leader and I thought very consistent all the way through. Um, offensively, Penny Boone had a great game again. Uh, I think the fifth game in a row over 100 yards rushing. Tough weather day, which there was going to be some grounded out yards that had to be, you know, had to be gained, and uh, really good, in, you know, in uh, some tough moments there, almost 100 yards rushing individually by him in the fourth quarter alone, and then on special teams, Luke Pollock, uh, excellent performance. Mike Denning still not being able to handle the kicking duty, still out. Luke still having a full plate with that and being able to handle the place kicking responsibilities, making two field goals in a tough rainy situation, I thought was key and. Uh, you know, obviously ended up, you know, being the difference in the game. So I'm um, proud of those guys, proud of our team. Got to hit the road this week, play a good Miami team, getting good quarterback play from their starter, who's a veteran guy, a uh, very good defensive team led by a really good front team that communicates at a really high level on both in both sides of the football. And, you know, and, and they got a field goal kicker that, that hasn't missed and he's a real weapon. So uh, it's a complete team, a team that's very well coached and program obviously we got a lot of respect for and we'll have to be at our best to, to go on the road to get a victory. So that being said, I'll take your questions. You mentioned both teams kickers there. As you get into the meat of the schedule, and special teams kind of magnify the games that are, are closer. Um, I don't know, what kind of a weapon do you think Luke is? Is he a little bit of a security blanket for the conference? Well, I mean, I, you know, we're we're playing football here in Northwest Ohio. We're not in South Florida, so weather from here on out will be unpredictable. And um, you know, the the skill set of those guys obviously changes from week to week because of the elements. But uh, to be able to have uh, you know a solid performance like that and a tough weather day obviously gives you confidence moving forward. And he's done everything we've asked him to do. You know, if you go back to the Eastern Michigan game last year to all the way through this season, he's been reliable. He's been consistent, and, and uh, he's a guy that has a really firm process. He works really hard to, to, to get himself in the right mindset to play each and every week, and uh, we're going to need him down the stretch to be great. How, no disrespect to previous opponents, but the schedule's really easy enough here the next few weeks. This week, I mean, two one-loss teams, it's probably the first time this late in the season at, have had a matchup like that. Do you notice the energy when you get to late October, November in the building of uh, well, I mean, I, games that yeah. Yeah. I think the beginning of the year, everybody's excited to play. Everybody's excited to start and get their season off and to a right foot and, and get to find out who their team is and, and what that's going to look like. And everybody's got a lot of confidence going into that part of the year that they're going to have a good, a good season. You take your lumps, you take your bruises through the month of September. You know, some teams, have, they fold and they fade away. And in early October, it kind of starts to separate. And you get to late October, this is big separation time. And... You know, you always talk about winning championships in late November and early December. Well, those games happen then, but the stretch run through the month of October sets the table for all that. So, and this is another week of that. You know, you go it's the third third road game in a row that's on that's that we have, and got to handle the trip. Got to go down and play a really good team. The scheduling quirk with Miami is very bizarre. Obviously, I know you probably watch other teams play them. You know, previous years that were on your schedule, but because it's been so long that you've played them, do you feel very unfamiliar with their personality? Yeah, I mean, you, you we recruited some of these guys um, that we're going to play against, so you know a little bit about them that way. But yeah, there is a, a level of um, you know uncertainty to a certain extent, I guess is, is the best way to put it. I mean, we've played Ohio State more in my time here than we've played Miami of Ohio, which is crazy. Uh, so, but they'll make the schedule and, and don't want to. So um, we'll play the ones we're we're given, and wherever they're wherever they're at, we'll go play them. So, uh, but a good team and a team that, like I said, will prevent, present a lot of challenges for us. Yeah, I think he's very consistent. You know what I mean? He's he's got a lot of starts under his belt. Um, he's comfortable in who he is. He's got a good job leading their team. Um, he's created a lot of explosive plays in the passing game. You know, throughout the, the early part of this season, uh, and he you know got got in the end zone a few times the last couple of weeks here with his legs too. So, uh, you know, I mean, he's going to play efficient. He's not going to screw it up. He's not going to give you give you the ball a bunch of times. And and you gotta you gotta go try to do the best job you can to disrupt his rhythm and timing and have a good plan to stop. 
Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you, yeah, each and every week you, you have the video that's available to you and you do a good job trying to dissect it and, and build a plan based off of what you see. And um, now every team, every season is different. Week to week, things change. Uh, the personnel is different due to injuries. And at this point in the year, um, then you got to do, do a good job of, of preparing for what you think you're going to get. You know, last weekend we, you know, we had to prepare for two quarterbacks. We weren't sure what we were going to get. So. You know, um, maybe a little bit easier that way in the sense of we know who the starter is. We know, we, you know, we have exactly what we're going to see and what we're going to be able to watch maybe in comparison to last week. But all the all the weeks are the same. Yeah, I mean, it's part of it. I mean, we're going to. I hope we don't play a game in the snow, but I'm sure we'll have one of those at some point in time, too. You know what I mean? It's. It's just it's just how it's how it, how it works itself out, you know. And um, you're starting to get Tuesday, Wednesday games coming up, and you know those are well, they're not played during the day, so the sun's never out for those. Um, and you're in the middle of the week, you don't know really what your your schedule, your routine is 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 reset, recalibrated. But uh, yeah, you got to do the best job you can as a team and as a staff, and you know as an organization to prepare for whatever whatever the elements may be and whatever you know situations may occur. Miami. Yeah, they're good. I mean, they're good defense. You know, it's just it is what it is. I mean, they got good personnel. They're good schematically. They have good coaches. They, um, you know, they got a good front, and they don't. You know, their second level is in unison with the front, and you know where there's maybe holes, they got good enough players on the back end to to, to supplement and to to erase some of the problems and some of the mistakes. So, um, you know, that's a formula that we understand because that's how we play defense too. So, you know, you have to. You have to be an 11 man unit. You have to play in unison. You have to play team defense. And you know they've they've uh, they've the production that you're mentioning has been a, a product of them playing sound. Yeah, I mean, he's been highly productive in his time on the field. You know what I mean? Whether that's, you know, playing nickel, playing corner, um, playing in the kicking game. You know, he's a problem covering kicks. I mean, you have to account for that guy. Um, he's 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 very football savvy, if if that makes any sense. Uh, you know, I don't. You know, he just kind of has a knack for finding the football and being around the ball. So he's critically important to us. And you know, obviously, you know, he's. You know, the first play of the game happens a corner. He's not out there, but I don't know if there's any other team in the league that that would be the case. You know what I mean? We got two good corners, and you know he's a really three really really good corners, and he's a, he's the next guy in, and he's but his skill set is he's a physical tackler. Uh, he can play the ball, and he can play man. And uh, any good DB, you have to have those three things in your resume, and he certainly does. And like I said, the impact he's made on a kicking game, especially the last couple of weeks, has been uh, as impactful as anybody on our team. Yeah, obviously they had a great game on Saturday, and I think you know, obviously a stiff challenger. Like I said, you know, when any team, any time the team that your your opponent can supplement their their rushing attack with good quarterback runs, you know, it makes for it's the ultimate neutralizer. It it, it you know you don't you can't gang up on them, and so uh, every guy had to do their responsibility at a high level and do their job and be in their gap and be in the right place, and you know they did that consistently for all 60 minutes, and you know I don't. It's really hard to hold another team without a touchdown in college football. I don't care what level it is, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, tremendous defensive performance, good plan, great execution by the players, and great buy-in by the whole group to, to you know, to, to get a win.